Hello fellow editors, my name is Marina Bruno and I'm a filmmaker. I've written, directed, produced, and edited a ton of short films which you could watch all on my YouTube channel Wondering Pictures. I do all different types of genres of short films and I've been filmmaking pretty much my entire life. And I've used Adobe for every single one of my films. Today I'm going to show you how I used After Effects to add some extra personalized special effects for my own remixed version of the Terminator Dark Fate movie trailer. Okay, so. Okay, so here we have opened After Effects. The effect I want to do for today is a selected glitch out effect on the actress here. So to do this, it gives it a really cool look and it's actually really simple to do. Okay, so first I open up my project, then I duplicate the layer by clicking Command D. Then I'm going to go over to Effects and Presets and type in Luma Key, drag that to the top layer. Then I'm going to turn off the bottom layer just for now. Then on Luma Key on Key Type, I'm going to select Key Out Brighter. Then I'm just going to drag the threshold until it's mostly selecting out the actress and removing most of the background. So to make this a little bit more seamless, I'm just going to use the pen tool and create a mask around the actress. Then I'm going to go to layer, new, solid. I'm going to name this glitch. Then I'm going to go to effects and presets, type in fractal noise, bring that to my glitch layer. Then under fractal type, I'm going to select dynamic. Then under noise type, I'm going to select block. And this is just going to give it a more digital effect. Then under transform, I'm going to unselect uniform scaling, bring the scale width all the way up to 1200. This just basically stretches out the layer. Then for evolution, I'm going to put a keyframe from the beginning. Then at the end of the composition, I'm going to put another keyframe, but this time I'm going to type in 50. What this does basically is give the glitching a lot of random movement throughout the clip. Then I'm going to select the clip, click pre-compose. Then I'm going to select move all attributes into the new composition. Then I'm going to go back to effects and presets and type in displacement map. Bring that again to my first layer. And then in the drop down menu, I'm going to select glitch comp. Then for max horizontal displacement, I'm going to set it to 60. And then for max vertical displacement, I'm going to set it to 60 as well. Then set this drop down menu to stretch map to fit. Then I'm going to turn back on the bottom layer. So as you can see, the actress here is selected and glitched out in a really cool way. The background is perfectly normal, but she's just selected and glitched out. Then I want to have an effect where the glitch comes on and off very sporadically. So I'm going to cut up the top layer only when I want the glitch effect to appear. And there you go. It looks pretty cool. Almost here. And there you go. That's pretty much it. What I love about After Effects is that it's literally a limitless tool that lets you create anything that you can imagine. Remember guys, to enter the contest, be sure to register on the website. I can't wait to see what you create for the Terminator Create Your Fate trailer remix contest. Good luck filmmakers.